Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Game Thoughts. So, there at the very end, we once again journey into the wonderful world of Tron. This time, even the music sounded just like Tron. And yet again, we end on a cliffhanger. With more questions raised than answered, I really do hope that they eventually actually start answering questions so this doesn't become, you know, the lost of video gaming. I like the, you know, near the end with the apple, you know. Briefly, I just gotta mention, did anybody else notice how, you know, that first mission you have with the apple, you don't know that there's gonna be several missions where you carry the apple and use the apple. So when you're told, you know, if you want to get 100% synchronization, you have to not lose any health. You know, you're thinking, oh, sure, I'll, you know, avoid losing health. And then you try using the apple and you realize that costs you health. Did anybody else think, just for a little bit, they're not gonna let me use the apple, at least not if I want, you know, total synchronization, or I'm gonna have to go back and replay that mission, that's a bit of a bother. But then, thankfully, they do let you use it a ton over the next couple of missions. It was bordering on excessive, but I think they hit the balance. I don't think you were forced to use the apple too much, and yes, you kind of were forced to use it, so... You know, I do also maybe think that it would have been nice if there were more than two abilities of it. You know, basically it can, you know, psychically destroy the brain and it can reverse their polarity. So they, you know, kill each other. And you have to wait for them to kill each other with the same exact slow system of killing enemies that, you know... If the enemies are no good at hurting you, are they going to be that good at hurting each other? Anyway... I like that after several, you know, uses of the apple, you actually, you know, Desmond suddenly gets a hand, you know, his hands on the apple, and he sort of uses it, and it's, I guess it's them controlling him, you know, to make sure, you know, and it was a nice enough twist with, you know, that they, they make him apparently kill her. You know, going by the, what's it called, the medal, whatever, award thing you get for it, which is, you know, a knife in the heart, so, you know, she might actually be dead. I didn't see that coming when I started playing this game. I, in fact, I didn't see it coming until I realized, you know, that he was being controlled. And I've actually, you know, I've made a video where I talked about how it would be really nice if, you know, more video games actually had you, you know, the player forced to do something that they really didn't want to do. I didn't want to kill her, so that was a nice, you know, when, when you kind of realize just there's no other way. She's gonna, you know, that is the ending. I realize it was probably just added as a little, you know, Easter egg kind of thing, but... Mm, the model for Desmond is, you know, if you actually use it in the memories or whatever, in the main game, you know, when you're actually Ezio, it is, you know, it's very clearly not made to be used like that. You know, it's, he doesn't have the second blade, the, you know, sword and dagger are kind of just floating in the air. Yeah, it's, it's, Still, it's nice enough that they let us use it, you know. Not sure there's much else to say. I did enjoy the intrigue and kind of manipulation and kind of stuff going on. It was very soap opera-ish, the, the story of the Borgias in this one. So... And I do like that this kind of... I feel this one does a pretty good job of sort of closing off the story of Ezio. I realize he's in Revelations as well. I haven't played it yet, so no spoilers. But yeah, you know, it was kind of where the second one left off... <laughs> where this one left leaves off, it's actually more of a um, sort of cliffhanger for Desmond and, you know, the remaining assassins 
than Ezio. You know, Ezio's story is nice enough closed off. I mean, are there really, are there any Borges left? I don't, I, I'm not sure there are. I don't remember there being any left. Well, Lucrezia, excuse me, Lucrezia wasn't killed, but I'm presuming she was captured because she kind of was in league with, you know, the fraudulent, so yeah. But, but yeah, you know, when, when the second one ends, there's really, there's stuff left to do, you know. It, it was not that satisfying of an ending for Ezio, but this one follows up on that nicely enough. I think that's about what I have to say that contains spoilers. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.